Hey everyone, welcome to Caspay YouTube channel. My name is Ashley and today we'll be diving into the differences between paired bandwidth and dedicated bandwidth. Shared bandwidth, like its name shared, means that your bandwidth is shared among subscribers. This means that the upload and the download speed on a shared plan are typically up to a particular limit. And this is because there is no guarantee that you can get the maximum bandwidth speed advertised, especially when everyone will be uploading or downloading large files or video streaming or even a video conference at the same time. Let's say you subscribe to a 100 maps shared internet connection. You may be able to get up to 100 maps bandwidth at certain times, but this will be very unlikely, especially during peak traffic hours when other subscribers are also using the connection. Due to these occurrences, they may be congested from time to time and the bandwidth availability is not always consistent. So you must be wondering, why choose short bandwidth when there are all these limitations, right? Well, to clear up your doubts, the price of shared bandwidth is much cheaper when compared to dedicated bandwidth. Thus, this will be the go-to for individuals or small business teams with limited internet usage. Bigger business companies will require not only a reliable but also a consistent internet connection for a critical business operation and hence, dedicated bandwidth hosting plans will be a better choice for them. Now, this brings us to dedicated bandwidth. Dedicated bandwidth means that your internet service provider will establish a private connection to you and to you only. So unlike shared bandwidth, the bandwidth speed for a dedicated bandwidth that you pay for is what you get, and this will not be affected by other users as well. For instance, if you subscribe to 100 maps dedicated internet connection, you have access to all 100 maps of bandwidth at all times. Due to this, your bandwidth upload and download speed are definitely more reliable and consistent. It is handy for users that have high demand in bandwidth to carry out mission or time-critical operations. Clearly, dedicated bandwidth will cost more when compared to shared bandwidth as you're paying for the whole cost of the connection. And additionally, dedicated internet also offers a private connection, hence providing you with greater security and privacy that than shared internet access. All right, now for the comparison, whether you choose a hosting plan with shared bandwidth or with dedicated bandwidth, it really just depends on your needs and your budget. The difference here is not how data is transmitted over the internet, but rather how the bandwidth is distributed to you. Which bandwidth is more suitable for you? Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. And as always, if you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful, please leave a like and subscribe. Turn on the notification bell so you won't miss out on future videos just like this one. And until then, my name is Ashley and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.